In this section, we will be installing DHCP service in Ubuntu server. A DHCP service is a service that provides IP configuration to client computers in the network. That includes IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, and DNS server. Uh, before installing DHCP server, we need to get some IP configuration from our server. So I'm going to do IPA and press enter. And I'm going to get the IP address and subnet mask of my server. Notice that my subnet mask is 24, which means that my network address are the first three octets of my IP address. So my network address is 192.168.137. Also notice that the name of the interface is ENP0S3, as we will need this uh, to configure our DHCP server. All right, so next I'm going to proceed with the installation of the server. So I'm going to say sudo apt install isc DHCP server. I'm going to press enter, enter the password, and I'm going to let the installation to complete. Okay, so next I'm going to open the DHCP server configuration file by doing sudo vi etc default isc DHCP server. And here I'm going to scroll down to what it says interface version four. And I need to include here the uh, name of the interface that we got from the previous step, which is which is ENP 0 S3, escape WQ. The next step is to open the DHCPD.com file so we can add the address pool for our network. So I'm going to go ahead and say sudo vi etc DHCP DHCPD.com. In this section, we have the global section. This setting that we have here applied to all address pool that we create inside our DHCP configuration file. I'm going to hit escape, and then I'm going to scroll down to a section that says a slightly different configuration for internal subnet, which is here. And I'm going to uncomment everything underneath. All right, so this is going to be uh, the address pool for my network, but I need to make a few changes here. The first one is the subnet. So the subnet, this section here, I need to include my network address. And so my network address is 192.168.137.0. And then my subnet mass is 255.255.0. .255 and the next change that I need to include here is the range of IP address that I want to lease. Again, I need to modify this to uh, fit my network. So it'll be 192.168.137. And, that, and that the first available IP address in my pool, it's going to be that 20. And uh, the reason that I'm going to start at that 20 is because I want to leave uh, or some available addresses for um, network equipment and servers. For example, routers, switches, uh, network printers, and servers. And I'm going to list all the way to 192.168.137.254. That will be the last IP address, as 255 is the broadcast address for the network. All right, so next, domain name server here. Again, I'm going to include my own DNS server, which is server at that example.org and then for the domain name it will be example.org sum the mass again it is 255 255 255.0 and for the router also known as the default gateway it is 192 
notice that I have a semicolon at the end of each line. And then for the broadcast address, it is 192.168.137.255. And I'm going to leave the rest uh, as default. So I'm going to hit escape, WQ, and that we've done with the configuration. So now I'm going to restart the ACB. So I'm going to say sudo systemctl restart isc the ACP server. And uh, now I want to go ahead and uh, view the status of the servers. So I'm going to say sudo systemctl status isc the ACP server. And as you can see, the service is up and running. So now, the last thing that we want to do, we want to allow inbound connection uh, from computers uh, coming up on the network that need to contact the DHCP server and request an IP address. So I'm going to do uh, nestad and p, and I'm going to pipe that into grep, and I'm looking for DHCP. I'm going to press enter. And uh, actually, as a matter of fact, notice that my DHCP server is listening on port 67. So that is the port number that I need to include. So I'm going to go back into my firewall and I'm going to do sudo ufw allow 67 UDP. Press enter. If I now print the status. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to boot a computer into the network to test the uh, DHCP configuration. So I'm going to start this virtual machine. All right, so I'm going to start the terminal and I'm going to do ifconfig. And as you can see, the IP address for this computer is 192.168.137.43. And if I do route in, notice that my gateway is 192.168.137.1. Now I'm going back to the server. And if I do uh, DHCP list list, notice that I have the client already listed with the .43 IP address.